Praise the Lord everybody, this is Vicky Pacheco and I am here today with another tutorial. This is for the song called Miracle Worker by J.J. Hairston and Youthful Praise. Okay, so to get started, let's go ahead and start with the introduction that goes like this. Okay, so this song is in the key of G flat. All right, so when we start off, okay, we're gonna start on, okay, on the four, which is B. And what I like to do is in my left hand, I have octave B, and in the middle I have here uh, G flat. Okay, and then in my right hand, I have B major. So that's just B, D flat, E flat, G flat. Can I just ripple that? Okay, and then just both hands together. Okay, the next uh, set of chords is going to be so your left hand is going to go to E flat, your right hand is playing two notes, just creating this harmony. It's a mel the melody line creating a harmony with it. And you have here B flat with G flat. Okay, then you're going to go down. Left hand is going to go to a D flat, right hand is going to be A flat and F. Okay, so the first three again, you have. Next one is, okay, from, from right here, from that A flat and F from before, you're just gonna go ahead and make that A flat into an octave with D flat in the middle and just ripple that. And then left hand goes into uh, F octave. Okay, let's try that again. Here, next set of notes is going to be left hand is on G flat octave, right hand you have D flat and B flat, okay, and then come down to D flat in your left hand, right hand has that A flat and F from before, okay, all right, so let's start over again. to do is I hit this single note of a G flat and then I play okay and what I have here is in my left hand I have B octaves my right hand after I play that A flat by itself together I hit a G flat with D flat but that D flat I flip it up to that E flat and I kind of hold this down that A flat that I played by itself Okay, just like that okay with and that's when that uh, B comes in okay so you have that A flat hold it then these together okay so let's try that one more time from the beginning okay that's where we're at then the last uh, set of notes you have is E flat in your left hand octaves with B flat and G flat in your right. Walk down, just the same as before. You have D flat in your left hand, right hand has A flat and F. Okay, and then you're gonna do this walk up. Okay, and pretty much what you're doing there is your left hand is doing B, E flat, D flat. Right hand is doing E flat. Okay, so E flat, G flat, right? And when you go to this G flat, that's when your left hand's gonna go to that E flat. Okay, when I go up to that uh, G flat, I do. So I do this higher G flat and then low G flat back up to that high one. Okay, so yeah. Okay, and then go up to that B flat. Okay. B flat and then come down to A flat and land on that D flat in your left hand. So the first one, then ripple the second one, and then solid on the uh, this third one. Okay. And then come down to that A flat. And the 
say flat, I kind of ripple that one too. Okay, but it's all depending on taste and how you want to do it. You can all play them all solid. goes into um, the chorus, right? Which is um So your first chord here is the A flat minor seven, which is the two. Okay, and this is how I play that. So my left hand has A flat octaves. Right hand I have E flat, G flat, A flat, and B. Okay, so I have here. Okay, second chord then is E flat minor seven. And that's how I play that. So I have here D flat and E flat shared with my thumb. G flat, B flat here. Okay, so. And then I do a D flat, D flat here in the left hand. Right hand has D flat, G flat, A flat, D flat. So this is a D flat suspended. Okay. And then when I go, um, my right hand's gonna stay here, and my left hand's gonna go down to a B. And then I resolve that uh, G flat down to F. Okay, so let's try that again. We have A flat minor 7, E flat minor 7, D flat suspended, and then D flat over B. Okay, and it kind of goes with the melody uh, line of the singer. So, mm -hmm. part uh, supernatural power that part so you're gonna have same thing right here it changes now you're gonna have E major okay left hand has E octave B in the middle right hand you're pretty much playing an E too so you have B octaves E with F sharp okay and then you're gonna do B just a regular B major that we started off with at the intro that E flat minor from before, and then D flat. Okay, so da, 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 A flat minor, E flat minor, D flat, D flat over B, then E major, B, E flat minor, B. Okay, and then when it goes into that supernatural power, you're just gonna, on the B major, you're just gonna build on it. Cut. 
sense, okay? Now, whenever they're answering power, power, you can also uh, emphasize that melody line uh, playing octaves here, which is F, G flat. So you have... but you're going to cut. So that's going to be... Um Now, something you can do to kind of add um, to that intensity and the climax uh, of the song, right? It's getting bigger and bigger and more intense. So when you do that cut on the E flat minor, after you do that walk up, you can do a run. Um, and really, it's just, you know, holding your thumb like this, okay? And you go sideways, and then you just go down on the keys like that, okay? So from right here, I just kind of put my thumb like that and just just bring it down okay and uh what i also do with my left hand is i've i've showed this before in a couple if you've if you followed a couple of my tutorials is i smash down on these lower keys while holding a sustain pedal and i just roll it up okay by itself it doesn't sound very good but in context okay um it kind of adds again to that intensity um that you're trying to build up okay so again um we believe So, okay, 
and then you're gonna have the same the very exact same chords that we had uh, at the beginning right you have the a flat minor 7 B a flat minor to D flat same exact chords but now a different rhythm so we have ba -da -da -da. Again, let's do it one more time from that walk up. We be here's that walk up. progression uh, of chords the singers are pretty much going to be singing uh, the same thing it's just the person who's like leading it starts ministering more kind of adding some ad-libs and stuff and so it makes it slightly different but what we're doing um, is pretty much our left hand is holding down on this G flat octave and for this next section that's all it's gonna do um, at least for right now okay so um, we're gonna hold that down and our right hand um, it's I'm gonna go ahead and just talk the basic uh, chords that um, this uh, this melody line is, uh, pretty much flows on top of. So you have here a G flat major, right? So right hand, I'm doing D flat octaves, right? G flat, A flat, B flat. Then um, I keep this octave here and these fingers, I switch them to F and A flat. That gives me a D flat over G flat. Then I go right back up to that G flat. Okay, then I come down to B major. And then I do this octaves, A flat, B flat, and when I land again on this uh, B, it's gonna be a B minor, and then an added six, okay? So again, you have G flat, D flat over G flat, back up to G flat, B over G flat, B minor, added six, still over G flat this whole time. that's happening right there so uh, something that um, the guitars are doing uh, you kind of hear this melody line and the piano uh, follows along actually a bit too so um, what it is is still sticking with that G flat in our left hand that doesn't change our right hand um, is gonna go okay and pretty much what that is it's a G flat octaves with D flat right here in the middle and this D flat is gonna stay there uh, throughout this whole thing it's it kind of acts um, as a pivot point I guess you can say uh, my octaves are the ones that are gonna be changing um, but this D flat pretty much stays there the whole time so again I have G flat and then I move up to B flat still with the D flat right here A flat back up to the B flat and still with that D flat in the middle. And now this time I go to a B major. Now I moved, right, completely to a B major. And then, same thing that we did before down here, but now we're just doing it up here. Okay, so again. Okay, and it's your choice if you wanna ripple these out. the way they sound rippled okay and that's the whole time with G flat in your left hand After I do that B flat minor added six, I go right into D flat, D, E, 
G flat, A flat, B flat. Okay. And then from here, uh, when I hit that B flat, it's kind of like where the it starts all over. So you have. Okay, so since this starts all over, this is taking the place, this B flat is taking the place of that first G flat, right? Right, this G flat right here. So this is taking the place of that, okay? Uh, so from here, I'm gonna go straight into the B flat with the D flat in the middle and finish it up. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Go to that B minor, melody, then B flat, B flat. There's another one you can also do, it starts off the same. before you hit the B minor uh, at its six. So right after the B major is when you do it. The first one that we, uh, that I showed you was right after the B minor. So this second one goes like this again, slowly. That's gonna be B flat B, D flat D, E, G flat, E, D, B, up to D flat. Okay, so after the B major. And then again, when you hit this D flat, it's our starting over point. This D flat is taking the spot of this uh, G flat that we usually start with. So right after the D flat, right? Go to the B flat. A flat, B flat. And then finish it out. Okay, so let's try it again. Let's do both. All right, so let's do. We're gonna start with the first one, right, which happens right after the B minor, and then the second one happens before the B minor. So that would be after the B major. All right, so let's try that again. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. space them out and kind of pick where you want it uh, to happen there is a specific spot where you do hear it uh, on the recording uh, you can do it identical um, to when they do it or you know whenever you feel to do it um, it's really up to you so again this part starts repeating quite a bit um, and then it goes into the uh, it returns back to the right that we did before Since we do this part twice, um, kind of what I do, I guess, is the first time we go into this section, I do um, this the melody line that's after the B major, that one, and then after we do this part and go right back into this again, this is when I will go into into the second one to kind of give some space between them uh, so um, you can do that as well if you like or however okay so uh, after the second time that it goes into this all right this repeats uh, quite a few times okay Okay, so since it keeps repeating quite a bit from there so that it doesn't sound so like, okay, repeating the same thing, the same thing over and over again, the same melody line, uh, guitars for the most part, they keep doing that. Um, and um, so I just come down here. To, so it keeps getting bigger and thicker. And so to just kind of add more to it, I start doing uh, just the chords. Okay, so this is G flat, D flat over G flat, back up to G flat, right? What we did before. start getting 
getting to the end of this, um, I want to say it's the second to the last one. Um, it's slightly different. So right hand stays the same, but your left hand is going to start walking down by half steps. You have this G flat, but then it's going to go down to F, E, E flat, and then D. And I'll tell you where that is. So at the beginning, we have G flat. When your right hand goes down to that D flat, your left hand is going to go to the F. When you go back up to the G flat in your right hand, your left hand is going to go to that E. And then when you go to that B major, left hand is going to go to that E flat. And then when you do that walk up to the B minor added six, left hand is going to go to D. Okay, so again, that's... normal again right your left hand's not gonna walk down anymore you're gonna stay on that G flat right hand's gonna switch the way it did before after this you're gonna go into okay that we did at the very beginning and then that goes into a broken down chorus of same thing as before nothing new It's such a good part and it just flows so nicely. The congregation kind of just starts singing along with you at this point. And then, so you kind of keep a click in and from there, you're whoever's leading, you know, just however they want to lead that, right? Um, they just go into, you, you repeat it some more, you might build it back up again, who knows? Um, it's pretty much free flowing at this point, okay? So, but yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the song. It's not too complicated. A lot of the same repetitive chords, just some rhythms change and added melodies um, that you can uh, do to it. Um, so yeah, I hope that this video uh, was a blessing for you. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, give it a like, uh, share it with someone who it, you know it would be a blessing uh, to. And um, yeah, so uh, thank you so much for, for watching. Uh, if you don't already follow me on uh, my social media platforms, uh, Vicky Pacheco on Facebook, Vicky Pacheco Music on Instagram, you can go ahead and leave a comment below if you have any questions or anything that I can do to better um, help and serve. Um, so yeah, thank you again. And until the next time, God bless you.